بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about cystic liver lesions I will deal with the differential diagnosis and the clue to common and uncommon diagnostic feature of each cystic mass lesion. The common causes of cystic mass lesion of the liver include hepatic cyst, autosomal dominant polycystic liver disease, hepatic biogenic abscess, hepatic amoebic abscess, biliary hematoma, biloma, hydatus cyst, and steatosis. What are the key differential diagnostic issues? Any mural nodularity or debris level? Within the within the set should be raise the concern for tumor or abscess or hematoma. Essential to compare current study with the previous studies to observe for the interval changes of symbiosis change in size only slowly. Hepatic cyst. It is water attenuation with no visible wall, no enhancement of the cyst contents noted. MRI shows very bright on T2 weighted images and dark on T1 weighted images, no enhancement of mural nodularity noted within the cyst. On ultrasound, there is acoustic enhancement. It is very important to differentiate from cyst from other hypo echoic mass lesion seen, and also there is no wall or nodularity noted within the cyst hemorrhage within, within a simple cyst can be difficult to distinguish the cyst from cystic neoplasm. One or two thin safety may be seen within the cyst, often multiple or variable size here we see a lesion and the liver cystic in nature with no wall enhancement or with no septi or no debris or irregularity or immune nodule and it is water density and it is simple liver hepatic cyst. This patient has hyperdense area and it's the dependent part uh, of, of liver cyst and this represents the intracystic hemorrhage but it is difficult to differentiate it from the tumor. Follow up these patient is advisable and see the resolving of the hematoma. Autosomal dominant polycystic liver disease, many cysts of the liver in the liver of variable in size, intracystic bleeding result from high attenuation fluid and calcified wall. Often result in massive hepatomegaly, but rarely impairs the liver function. May be associated with cysts in the kidney, similar vesicle, and pancreas, and usually have history of other family members with polycystic disease. In this patient, we have autosomal dominant uh, 
cystic uh, liver disease with multiple innumerable liver cysts, variable in size involving both lobe of the liver. And here you see the kidney, it is a small cyst here in the left right kidney and multiple, maybe a small hypoattenuated liver cyst on the left side. Hepatic biogenic abscess, multi decorated or with multi septation, wall and septa may show contrast enhancement, associated atelectasis and the blood diffusion when the abscess occur in the peripheral liver adjacent to the diaphragm, usually result from prior surgery or associated with cholecystitis, cholangitis, or delayed diagnosis and the treatment of appendicitis or diverticulitis. Here we see a patient with um, a contrast enhanced CT scan uh, with uh, cystic mass in the right lobe of the liver with needle aspiration confirmed to be biogenic abscess. Hepatic amoebic capsis, usually solitary or few with shaggy wall, endemic in certain population. Here we see a patient with hepatic amoebic capsis, shows unilocular thick wall cystic mass in the right lobe of the liver associated with uh, THAD a transient hepatic attenuation difference seen in the arterial phase. Biliary hematoma, multiple small 1 to 1.5 millimeter, a low attenuation lesion with the plus minus echogenic nodule in the wall. Usually, the patients are asymptomatic, part of the and it is the biliary hematoma is part of a spectrum of congenital hepatic fibrocystic disease. May coexist with other manifestations like cavity or congenital hepatic fibrosis, may be associated with renal autosomal dominant or recessive polycystic disease. Here we see biliary hematoma in patient with coronal MRI T2 weighted images shows multiple innumerable uh, cysts involving the liver with no communication with the biliary radicals. Biloma or seroma. It is uh, following uh, trauma, partial liver or partial liver resection, radiofrequency ablation. An uninfected myeloma does not require drainage. Often takes weeks to months for large myeloma or seroma to resolve. May result from hepatic artery thrombosis with biliary necrosis and sitting of liver transplantation. Biloma in hepatic allograft is an ominous finding, often requires angiographic evaluation and emergency revascularization and even retransplantation. Here we see patient with biloma. Unilocular cystic mass lesion containing gas bubble. Suggestive. The findings are suggestive of abscess, but this patient has hepatic laceration and the gas coming from the resulting from a uh, gas from connection of wood video tree. Hepatic hydatis cyst, it is discrete peripheral wall with or without calcification with daughter cyst and common in the endemic area. Daughter cyst may be smaller spheres within la larger cyst or appear as thick septation. 
steatosis fatty liver, focal fatty liver deposit may be near water density or on non contrast enhanced CT scan, but it is echogenic and not cystic on, on ultrasound findings. MRI also definite for diagnosis, showing selective signal dropout from the focal statistic area on the opposed faced gradient echo images. Here we see a patient with CT scan with large focal area of near water attenuation representing severe fatty infiltration of the liver. Another smaller area of fatty infiltration of the liver. And you see the blood vessels within the fatty area are not distorted. Less common causes include uh, metastasis, lymphoma, biliary cyst adenoma, hepatic uh, candidiasis, carboli, enterohepatic cytosis, cholangiocarcinoma, mucine producing variant. And the clues for less common diagnosis include metastasis and lymphoma. It is from a primary cystic uh, tumor, usually ovarian tumor. Sarcoma, just gastrointestinal stromal tumor, and other, especially after treatment, it just metastasis is treated with glevig, may appear exactly as simple cyst and check for history and the prior studies, studies for the patient. Most have mural nodularity on CT or ultrasound or MRI lymphoma, we have a, a homogeneous mass lesion simulated cyst on CT and ultrasound. Tumor that respond to treatment with, with necrosis often simulate cyst. Here we see multiple hypodense lesions involving the liver with uh, cystic uh, attenuation and the mural nodule in this patient. Uh, this is uh, a metastasis from thyroid cancer. Biliary cyst adenoma, multi septated with discrete enhancing wall and septa. Rarely have no visible septa. Complete resection of all parts of the tumor essential to prevent recurrence. Here we see large mass, involved, cystic mass involving the right lobe of the liver with a few septa, and it is proved to be biliary cyst adenoma. Hepatic candidiasis, you see innumerable microabscesses less than one centimeter with target or wheel appearance, and usually occur in the immune compromised patient. As we see here, patient with an immune compromised patient with multiple hypodense non enhancing areas involving both, involving both lobes of the liver. The larger lesions shows irregularity on uh, this wall, as in this in this cyst, on this abscess, and this abscess. Caroli disease, multiple cystic dilatation of the bile duct seen. Uh, there is communication with the bile ducts is the key or feature for distinguishing it from other cystic masses of the liver. Recommend MRCB or ERCB. In this patient, we have dilatation of biliary tree. Some of them contain gas. And these multiple cysts have or involving the dilated biliary tree. And there is also dot sign, central dot sign due to dilated, uh, dilated uh, biliary radical with visible inside. Here the uh, image from ERCB noted with cystic dilatation of biliary tree with multiple stones in the biliary tree in patient with carbody.
into a hepatic uh, cytocyst may di dissect into the liver along the aborted triads, triads into a hepatic cytocyst usually has adjacent cyst in the pancreatic head check for imaging and the clinical evidence of pancreatitis to exclude the intrahepatic extension of pseudocyst of pancreas to the liver. Cholangial carcinoma, a tumor within the bile duct may rarely produce mucin that distend the ducts and may simulate cystic mass. As we see here, there is a cholangiocarcinoma, mucine-producing variant, uh, cystic mass noted in the uh, segment 3, 2, 3, uh, with intrahepatic biliary dilatation. Thank you for uh, listening and hoping you uh, benefit from uh, this lecture and like it. Hoping to see you soon in another uh, presentation.